welcome to Elizabeth Hogarth Designed. We're looking at a Hackney & Co with Craft Consortium collection today called Gardener's Delight. I filmed you the entire collection, however, I forgot to press the record button. So instead today, let me show you the remnants of the papers that I've used and then I'll show you in more detail all the other embellishments, stamps, ribbons um, and enamel dots in more detail as I show you what I've made. But this is Gardener's Delight. It is truly a delight. You've got vegetables and uh, wild strawberries, wellingtons, beautiful flowers which i'll show you in more detail because you've got to see them to believe them so that was a six by six paper this is another premium quality paper pad you can see from the palette here that everything coordinates beautifully with these 12 by 12 papers I don't think my camera is really doing the quality of these illustrations by Katie Hackney real justice. But this one here, if I bring this up closely, can you see the detail? I would love a stamp as large as that to be able to replicate these designs. But so you've got soft pinks and olive greens, dark greens. It's really, it's like a racing car green. Um, and as always, you've got your extra toppers in the front and back that you can cut out. I use these to help me with my colouring. And then you've got these really funky designs of the gardening gloves love the page of carrots let me show you that one quickly in the large because i've used that in another project that you'll see in a separate video but isn't that just genius and i also love this page here with the hens and the geese let's begin by looking at one of those projects using the papers with the chickens and the geese on I've also got a stamped image here that I've coloured in. So let's have a quick look at those. This is your set of stamps. So you've got some really funky gloves. These have got a clear outline so you can use them on the pattern paper. Very useful watering can wellies, the radish in the corner here, the geese and the chicken. So here I have used it on a little... Uh, folder you've got some really cool little embellishments here can you see they're made up of carrots so this is your 14 pack set and as always with these metal charms they're of the highest quality and they look exactly like the real thing so three of those went together on the side of my folder here and then I embossed a little tag and at the bottom here you've got the enamel dots so here are your enamel dots in all of their glory you've got your greens your gold your pinks and your it's like um, a raspberry red rather than a really in your face red but very very useful so as you can see I've used a line of them here and then you open it up and there's your little folder with the decorative papers inside really simple to do but i'll work on that a little bit more i think and add some extra bits to the pages inside then i decided to create a side easel card and this is using those glorious 12 by 12 papers but Allow me to show you again the quality of those drawings. So what I've done is I have uh, die cut a border here. And then if you look closely, I've done some decoupage by fussy cutting out the flowers on the front. And then layering them up. You can see some of my favourite trademark sequins. I never believe the colours that you've got here. You've got pinks and emerald green, like a field green and a pure white. And I think they work 
perfectly with these papers and you've also got some uh, MDF embellishments and those are a little bit different this time so let's show you those I'm left with the watering can I've got some flowers a useful garden fork there's more of the pretty flowers can you see how it reflects what you've got on the papers um, and then I've got some of the gardening gloves left and the wellies and some more of the flowers but what makes these a little bit different is if you very carefully peel the back this is more like a grey board than a the wooden shapes that we've used in the past it's still lightweight still of the best quality and it's really handy to have them as self-adhesive ele elements so there you can see that I have cut out the outline of the watering can and then laid it up onto the card and then I've used the reverse of this page on the back and you can see how beautifully those premium quality papers coordinate with everything. This is another cheeky DL tag card and I've used the chipboard ephemera again. So you've got plenty with the ones that I've shown you, the chickens and the geese. And then here I've coordinated it with one of the ribbons and that metal embellishment. So here are the ribbons and this one here is rather like a calico twine and then you've got the Gardener's Delight printed with the Wellingtons and the vegetables on the bottom here. It all works really well. It's very in keeping with the overall theme. So on this particular card I used a 6x6 paper as my background and then on a piece of white card I stamped this potting shed. If you have been a fan of Craft Consortium for some time, you may remember this collection, Cottage Garden, which was illustrated by Hells Coppledick. You've got a really useful and sweet potting shed here. There are other elements as well that would work brilliantly with these papers. So there's your potting shed in the back. And then I have coloured with pens this time, the Wellingtons and the watering cans using that stamp set that I showed you earlier and coordinated it with the garden rake, the radishes and then finally I've embellished it with the mint green and white sequins. Continuing with the theme of the Wellingtons this time I used my Versafine Claire in the purple and I inked up onto the papers with the wild strawberries and the beetroot and radishes um, and coordinated it with the lilac and grey A4 paper. So that's a little bit different and then I've added Girl Power to the back i think this ended up being one of my favorite cards don't be afraid to use your stamps with the pattern paper because you'll get some really really great effects one more card and gift box to show you before we make something uh, this make will be on another video um, and this can be used as a gift box and a card in one so you've got your box of chocolates and then as you open it up, you've got the Wellingtons and all the elements again in a gatefold card. And then you can wrap the present up, write your sentiment in the back of the card and then hold it all together with your wrap. I wanted to make another card using the 6x6 papers because I think they are very versatile to work with. I probably ended up using these more than I did the 12x12. So I'm going to make a smaller version of a towel fold card. So we're going to begin with 
piece of A4 paper and a guillotine. I'm going to cut the paper down to six inches in length. We're going to take a smidgen off the end because the width of it needs to be 11 and a half inches. Use your scoreboard to score at 3 inches, 5 and a half inches, 7 inches, 8 and a half inches. And then that should leave you three inches at the other end here. To make it easier for you to see on camera, I have marked the two lines here that are separated by the one and a half inch fold. We're now going to mark down this line here at the two inch and the four inch mark. It's easier with a T ruler, but this can be done on your scoring board as well. But I find to show you on camera, it's easier with a pencil. So as you can see, you've got your three inch fold, your five and a half inch fold, then you've got your one and a half inch fold within this panel of three inches and then you've got your final three and a half inch fold and again you can use scissors at this point but i'm going to use a ruler and my scalpel and we're going to cut down this line between you'll then find that the front two panels will fold forward and the middle one will fold back The pencil marks rubbed away easily so now we're ready to decorate. So I've taken some of the A4 paper and mat and layered it with the various 6x6 papers. So you're going to need mats and layers for the two sides of 2 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters. This second panel here will be two and a quarter by five and three quarters. Don't worry because I'll leave you all the dimensions in the comments below. And then we're going to do our larger decorative mats which measure two and a half by five and a half on either side. Our narrower one is two by five and a half and then I have made a set of smaller toppers using the Wellingtons again so this was only two and a half sheets of paper and I didn't even use all of that up so it's a very cost effective card and your larger mat measures one and a quarter by one and three quarters and your smaller decorative mats will measure one by one and a half inches so I'll quickly add these in place and then we will add some finishing touches
have the decorative papers you could probably see that this is actually a six by six card so if you wanted to fold it flat for posting you could send it like that and pop it in a six by six envelope but i think you would probably have to explain to the recipient possibly with a photo that to display it it's more like so so it doesn't really need much more but because we've got all of those embellishments let's add a few more things on here so we've got the watering can and we've got those larger versions of the gloves that would work here and then all you really need is a, a sentiment here and here so the camera let me down again so let me talk you through what I ended up doing to finish this card to create these sentiments I used the same paper and the farm meadow stamps which are also from craft consortium and a lot of these sentiments go really well with this collection I added some glue to the grey board ephemera just to give myself a little bit of wiggle room and some security on the card and then I added the trademark sequins in the greens and the pinks and this time I went for a, a pattern of five you can send the card as is like so you can also fold it over it's entirely up to you but you'll see from the photo at the end that when it's on your mantelpiece it will look something like that so the back one will go back and the middle one will come forward so i hope you liked that little idea it's a great way to use the six by six papers and it's quite cost effective to send as a card as well despite all the recording issues i really enjoyed working with this collection i think it covers male and female cards makes something a little bit different i like all the stamps and the extra embellishments in things that will be really versatile with your other projects these carrot embellishments are just sublime and you'll have to let me know in the comments below which of these projects you like and which of the embellishments you're going to be working with what do you think of the idea of having the grey board ephemera now let me know if you end up making a card like mine or you can follow the whole craft consortium design team on our facebook group craft consortium network and as always i'll leave you all the links below this video thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon bye bye for now